Yay, the diversity hire is here. <laughs> you guys are awesome. I'm in a bad mood because I'm starting to realize I'm really old and black years, and I don't like it because I got this. <laughs> I thought I would have a solid hairline until I was in my 30s deeply. I'm, in my, I'm 33 and my hairline's doing a LeBron every damn time. It's making me a better confidence though. I can't get my head up everywhere I go. I gotta get my head hit high. I can't have it down too much so you see the bat signal and it's like, this is depressing. I did not expect to be bald in this early in life. My dad has a full head of hair so I think my mom lied to me. I think, I think she's holding secrets. I don't like being this old though. I, I just feel old, I got old energy, I think that's what it is. I'm only 33, but I have bad news of like 50 year olds should have. <laughs> like recently a girl told me I'm the oldest guy she had sex with. That is not something you wanna hear in your 30s. <laughs> like I don't wanna make history like that. Like I made history in college. In college, three white girls told me I was the first black guy ever. I'm like, this is so dope. The Jackie Robinson thing is dope, like that's some, <laughs> Then I saw that movie Get Out and I realized they all were lying to me. They all, I don't believe anything they said to me. I think it was just a ploy to get my brain. But being the oldest is not really sexy. Like, it's not a cool thing to be the oldest. You got the first black, that's Jackie Robinson, but the oldest is what, Morgan Freeman? That's not dope, I know. I don't wanna be the Morgan Freeman of sex. That's not, I'm gonna narrate it or something? Like, what's going on there? No, I'm about to finish. That's not something you tell somebody. It's not. Plus sex, I don't even care about sex anymore because I have asthma also, so <laughs> asthma limits my greatness. I've never beat nothing up. Like I ain't never pounded no walls down. I only got two positions for real. I got the PG-13 sex position, which I'm on top, but it's all shoulders and the sheets on top of me, it's all shoulders. And I'm just humping and kissing slow and just moving just enough, it's safe sex. Like I don't have, I don't wear condoms, but I'm like safe sex as far as for my health. I can't be like I'm 20 anymore. I gotta do this. I gotta work tomorrow. We got stuff to do. We can't call the hospital for this. It's not gonna work. Damn. My other position is doggy style, but it's not even a good, sexy doggy style. Like, there's no Timberland boots, legs up, none of that. It is just like, do you want this job or not, doggy style? Like, you want this promotion? You wanna still work here? Like, all right, then come on. Like. Don't tell my wife. It's like, it's like I'm cheating, I'm not, I'm not even cheating. It's like I just very sad and pathetic doggy style. And it's only safe because I can like hold my inhaler back here the whole time and she don't hear it. So I'm trying to distract her like, yeah, do you like that? Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Who's your <sighs> daddy? What was that sound? What? Turn around. I'm trying to focus here. No. I want children too, because sex, you know, lead the kids, but you know, you, eh, it don't last that long. It's like a, it's like a fast round of fighting. It's just like a, it's like a street fight, not like a boxing match. It's like 15 seconds and somebody screams world star and it's over. It's just, I like a light. I want kids though. I just don't really want to have black kids because they die so easy. Like, it is just hard to keep a black kid alive. So I'm like, mm, I'm gonna adopt two white kids or something. Cause they're like, you know, better and smarter, or I'm bullshitting and want to own two white people. It's up to you to decide. I got dreams. I mean, I don't know. Like, I might just want to have two of them, you know, one for the house, one for the field. That's how that works. Uh, be a lot of room painting and yard work. Yard work. <laughs> I even give them cool names like Donald and Trump, just because that's how I feel right now. It's my house. I call them what I want. Plus, not having kids is not really a cool thing. Like, I'm 33 without children. And, okay, look, being black and 33 without children is like being white and 52 without children. <laughs> or like 17 and Puerto Rican without kids. Either <laughs> that, you know, just perspective, I'm giving you perspective on how my life is looking. All my best dad years are getting behind me. I'm getting to that stepdad area because I got the hairline to match, so it's like, whatever. <laughs> I can play catch with somebody else's kid, call him Junior, not mine. But I want to, I don't know. I think I want to be gay. <laughs> Only because of the stress, man. Like, it don't seem that bad, but I'd be a gay virgin. I don't know. Because I can't, I can't commit to that, man. Like, 
if I brush my teeth and I gag, I'm done brushing my teeth for the day. Like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, give me this now for my wash. I'm out of here. I'm good, I'm good. I still get teary eyed when I'm constipated. So I know if it hurt that bad going out, I'm like, you gotta put what and where? Shh, man, look, it's a bad time of the month for me, man. I had Chipotle for lunch. You don't want no parts of this. Plus, it'd be nice to have a man around. Like, this past snowstorm made me think about gayness a lot more. Like, my house was covered in snow. My walkway was covered in snow. My driveway covered in snow. My car covered in snow. And all I could think was, I wish I had a man in the house right now to clean this shit up. Just one time. Just please, just wipe it off of me. I'm a strong black woman. I don't know. <laughs> Plus, being a comedian, I don't, I'll never be a famous black comedian. Like, let's be honest. Like, I'll never be Kevin Hart, Chris Rock, and Dave Chappelle. But if I was gay, my only competition is Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> I could be on Bravo tomorrow if I applied myself and met the right guy. That's my dreams. I don't know if I want to be famous and black anymore because this week has been rough for famous black people. Like, OJ's out, but we got Usher and R. Kelly wild and like. <laughs> I don't even know what happened to Usher, or you know what Usher is. Usher's an R&B singer who was married, got divorced, had you know, a girlfriend was famous. He got caught cheating on all of them, but apparently nowadays he's up the ante and giving girls herpes. But he gave a girl $1 million because he gave her herpes. So I'm like, man, hold on now. I'm not gay, but I am poor. <laughs> and herpes goes away, but that million dollars will always be there. Plus, herpes don't seem that bad. Like, when you this poor, you think, man, how bad is herpes? Like, an outbreak? I can stay in the house for like a week or whatever. <laughs> and the commercials of herpes look so awesome. Like, I love paddle boats. <laughs> I love long, long walks on the beach. What? Couples massages? Man, give me herpes. I don't want to do that stuff. I need a vacation. <laughs> hey, that's embarrassing enough, man. Thank you very much.